Hey guys, it's Vaughn and today I'm going to be sharing my postpartum weight loss maintenance with this what I eat in a day video. One of the most helpful tools for me so far has been this digital body analyzer. So here's how it works. You create a profile for yourself with your gender, height, and age. From that, the scale is able to give you an accurate reading of your body fat, weight, muscle mass, bone density, and water weight. That way you can analyze how your body is responding to your exercise and diet regimen and monitor your progress. You can also create multiple profiles so you can share this thing with family members or roommates. It's way more helpful than your typical scale and looks really sleek in my bathroom. If you'd like to try this body analyzer, definitely check the description box. I do have a 60% off discount. All right, let's talk about food. So I'm kicking this video off boiling some hot water because I'm gonna make some instant oats. I'm only using a cup because I'm gonna put so many toppings on this thing, I really need the room. So I'm going to just add in my hot water. I like to use my tea kettle because it's just quick and efficient. I stir this thing up and I let it sit for a little bit so that it could solidify a little bit more. I'm gonna start off by sweetening with a little bit of brown sugar. You could use all kinds of sugar substitutes, agave, nectar, whatever you want. Once I stir that in, I'm gonna top with a couple tablespoons of granola. For flavor and texture, I'm gonna sprinkle with some coconut flakes. These are unsweetened. And finally, I'm gonna finish with some blueberries and raspberries. I pretty much top my oatmeal the same way you would like an acai bowl. I go in <laughs> for the texture and flavor. And that's it folks. And please believe I'm gonna put all the recipes in the description box. Let's call this one the everything oatmeal. Next is lunch. I share a couple lunch options today. This one starts with some seasoned grilled chicken breast. For this recipe, all you need is about six sliced strawberries, some lettuce, croutons, and salad dressing. This one is a light balsamic by Newman's Own. And last but not least, some crushed almonds. The first thing I'm gonna do is toss the lettuce in some salad dressing. I'm going to only use about two tablespoons since that's one serving. Next, I'm gonna throw in my sliced strawberries and then I'm going to add in my crushed almonds and toss the salad. I always blend everything in one big bowl so that everything's properly coated. That way you taste every ingredient in every bite. Once the plant portion is plated and ready, I'm gonna turn my attention to my grilled chicken, which is perfectly warmed and ready to be served. I'm gonna just slice it into about half inch or quarter inch portions and lay it right on top of those greens. For a little bit of crunch and savory flavor, I'm just gonna add some croutons. I'm only adding six because that is one serving. Finish with some of the larger almond chunks and we're gonna call this summer grilled chicken salad. This next lunch idea is also a salad. Guys, I really love these bags of lettuce that are pre-prepped. These are super convenient. I also love the spinach and arugula ones. You can take what you need and save the rest for later. Next, I'm gonna coat my lettuce with a salad dressing. This is a roasted garlic one. I think most people don't know when to quit when it comes to salad dressing. You do not need that much. Next, I'm going to add in one of my favorite ingredients and that's cherry tomatoes. You can put them in whole, but I think slicing them in half makes it easier to eat. I'm gonna flavor this up with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. You could always use a freshly grated version, but I think we're okay here as long as we control our portions. I'm only using one tablespoon. The highlight of today's salad is actually a cold piece of salmon from yesterday's dinner. I'm just taking off the skin and shredding it into little pieces with my fingers and just dumping it right in. I dumped my salmon in cold right out of the fridge, but you could also warm it and serve it whole on top of your salad. Here's something that I do with all of my salads that don't contain sweet components and that's season them. I love this Himalayan coarse pink sea salt and my black whole peppercorn. Once you're done seasoning and tossing, you're ready to plate. This salad is super quick and tastes great. Let's keep it all the way real and call this one leftover salmon salad. This next yummy food idea starts with toasted whole wheat bread. I'm gonna make like an open face sandwich and I'm going to slather my bread with some almond butter. This one's vanilla flavored. I clearly have an obsession with almonds. I'm still gonna use my serving size rule, so I'm only gonna use two tablespoons, but you don't need much more than that. Look how much you get with two tablespoons. And I'm eyeballing it, but I mean, you get a lot. Next, I'm gonna just slice up like half of a banana. I mean, you could just like eat the other half if you don't wanna waste it, but I don't like to put too many bananas on here because it can overpower the flavor. I also like to make sure all of my slices are evenly spread out because it actually looks kind of cute and every bite is consistent. Anyway, this snack is so sweet and filling, it could also be enjoyed as a dessert. Let's call this banana toast. And let's be honest guys, this cooking, healthy, everyday, all day thing is not easy. It takes multiple trips to the grocery store. Normally when I have a craving, I'll conceptualize what it is that I wanna create and I'll go to the store and buy all the ingredients. And realistically, in order for me to meet my food quality needs, I have to go to the grocery store about two or three times a week. 
at the end of the day, eating healthy, organic foods is a lifestyle that you have to be willing to commit to, but it's worth it in the end. For tonight's dinner, there are a few shortcuts. I don't always make everything from scratch, but my compromises are always calculated. Using this cool pan that I got from Ikea, I am grilling some skirt steak. Meanwhile, I've got some organic pinto beans simmering in a saucepan, some chopped raw onion, and some cilantro lime rice. This is jasmine, but you could substitute for brown. I've got a whole sliced avocado. I'm substituting sour cream for Greek yogurt, pico de gallo, and cheese. When I cook, I like to time everything just right so that everything is the proper serving temperature. So the meat is going directly from the grill onto the plate. So the first thing I do is prepare the meat by slicing it into quarter inch servings. Then I fill a bowl with about a cup of my cilantro lime rice. To that, about two or three gravy filled tablespoons of the pinto beans. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that cheese on top. A serving of this cheese is actually like two cups, but obviously we're not gonna use that much. And then I'm just going to layer on a couple slices of that meat. Then I'm just going to top with all the remaining ingredients, the raw onion, the pico, and the avocado. You can put these on in any order you like. Starting to look familiar? <laughs> it's like a chipotle burrito bowl. I'm finishing off with a spoonful of the Greek yogurt and then I'm just going to garnish with some chili powder. Let's just call this the not chipotle burrito bowl. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed me sharing a little bit of my passion for cooking and fitness. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video.